All right, good evening, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to tonight's vlogs. Here to wrap things up with the South Division of Pac-12 Conference for the 2016 college football season. For this vlog, I'm here to give you a preview of UCLA. Now, last season, Jim Moore and company went eight and five overall, not making it to the Pac-12 championship. But I think they have a great chance of representing the South Division of the Pac-12 title game. Now, they do have the return of star quarterback Josh Rosen, who had a great freshman season with over 3,700 yards through the air, 23 touchdown passes, and 11 interceptions. But they have some problems with the receiving core. They actually lost their top two targets in Jordan Payton and Thomas Durate. But they do have the return of Darren Andrews. And there is a player who decided to switch things over from defense to the offensive unit. And a good versatile athlete and Ishmael Adams, who did who does have some experiences at wide receiver, but he's worked more in the defensive unit in the secondary he did pick up a couple of interceptions last season now let's head over to the uh, defensive unit oh, and I forgot to mention a player that I am looking at in the offensive line is Connor McDermott he's actually one of my top five offensive tackles entering the 2017 NFL draft now let's now let's head over to the defensive unit they did lose in an, an, uh, NFL drafty and um Kenny Clark who was a great um productive player last season but they do have um some key players returning particularly in the second Secondary and Randall uh, uh, go forth as well as Jalil uh, Wadud, who both have a couple of interceptions each. And I think this definitely is a good sprout in the secondary. I think their secondary is going to be just fine this season. And let's also look at Eli Anku, who's going to be in part of the uh, defensive line. And Dion Hollins, who is one of the top players that I'm really, really looking at as far as the side, as far as a good prospect in the near future. I think he's a pretty good player. His numbers will definitely go up for the next uh, uh, upcoming season especially for this year I do have high hopes for them for this season now if you take a look at their schedule they have a very very tough schedule especially with the first uh within the first three games of the season now one of the three games is against UNLV but they open up the season at Texas A&M on September the 3rd and then on September 17th they're going to travel to face BYU so they have two tough roadblocks um entering already in the first half of the season then on September 24th they have to deal with the Stanford Cardinal last season's Pac-12 champs and their running back Christian McCaffrey who should be a Heisman finalist come towards the end of this season October the 1st against Arizona a good offensive team and I think they could they will um, bounce back from what they their, their uh, low play as far as last season's performance and uh, October the 5th against Washington State that's always a threat with their air raid offense and they have uh on November 19th against USC, their arch rival. And then on the 21st of November, is going to play at Cal. Cal can be an upset as well. Now, taking a look at their schedule, it's going to be very tough. But I believe that this team will go at least 10 wins this season. And they, I believe they will represent the South Division of the Pac-12 Conference. I would not be shocked that this team goes undefeated. But I do believe they're going to have at least one loss. But I'm going to really go safe in here and go more in my analytical work. I think they're going to get 10 wins and 2 losses come towards the Pac-12 Championship. But they can go undefeated. But that Texas a and ma matchup, they have to deal with Miles Garrett, one of the the premier pass rushers in college football, a freakish athlete, that is going to be a, a scare. If they beat Texas A&M, they'll definitely get the ball rolling and more confidence for this season, and they can have, can go undefeated for the remainder of the year. But I do see at least one loss in, in Pac-12 play and possibly one of the losses between BYU and Texas A&M. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have two more blogs for tonight. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.